We come together tonight. To... They began their convention suggesting a brighter future. And when we see injustice to one, we act to fix it for all. But then the Republicans quickly pivoted and, led by the president's son, suggested America was on the edge of the abyss. Joe Biden and the radical left are now coming for our freedom of speech. They want to bully us into submission. It's almost like this election is shaping up to be church, work and school versus rioting, looting and vandalism. And the target of the night was clear. Joe Biden is basically the Loch Ness Monster of the swamp. For the past half century, he's been lurking around in there. American hostages, forgotten and wasting away in far-off prisons. At the same time, Trump was being promoted as the commander-in-chief who liberated American hostages. A tough and skilled negotiator, President Trump successfully won the release of detainees and prisoners. And with a theatrical twist, there was the president last night at the White House with six of the freed hostages. But what you did, sir, is you were able to get me out of that prison record time. It was amazing. Thank you very much. But after that, the tone became apocalyptic. Speakers portraying Democrats as a mortal danger to American values. They want to destroy this country and everything that we have fought for and hold dear. They want to steal your liberty, your freedom. They want to control what you see and think and believe so that they can control how you live. Also taking center stage were the couple who brandished their weapons in front of a peaceful protest by anti-racism activists. So make no mistake, no matter where you live, your family will not be safe in the radical Democrats' America. Patty and Mark McCloskey warning that America's suburbs may be overrun by mobs. These radicals are not content with marching in the streets. They want to walk the halls of Congress. They want to take over. But we did also glimpse a more diverse side to the Republican Party. Perhaps this is even its future after Trump. Nikki Haley is the daughter of Indian immigrants. In much of the Democratic Party, it's now fashionable to say that America is racist. That is a lie. America is not a racist country. And Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina said he personifies a changing and a better America. Our family went from cotton to Congress in one lifetime. We are not fully where we want to be, but I thank God Almighty we are not where we used to be. But as that more inclusive message went out, on the streets outside the convention, police were arresting protesters, with tensions likely to rise in the 10 weeks between now and Election Day. Certainly, the Trump re-election strategy is now on full display. Frightened voters with talk of chaos on the streets and with their values under siege. And all the time, project the president as the law and order leader who can protect the nation.